All right, you primitive screwheads, listen up. But more of the R-rated film that most other people do. There's some salty language in it and shit like that. We work very well together, okay? We're gruesome, do some, gruesome, do some. Pardon my French, but you're an asshole. These guys are 11. I'm here for the gangbang. I have come here to chew bubble gum and kick ass. Inconceivable! And I'm all out of bubble gum. Oh, no, not the beat! Not the beat! Ah! I feel like I'm taking crazy pills! What? Say what again! Say what again! I dare you! I double dare you, motherfucker! Say what one more goddamn time! They've done studies, you know. 60% of the time, it works every time. That doesn't make sense. Is that no substitutes? Hey enthusiasts, what's good? This is Salty Language, episode 193. The sexiest podcast, still demanding voicemails for episode 200. Damn right. 415-857-2589. Hit the groove lines up. Hit the groove lines. Uh, yeah, as, as, you know, as usual, I'm Brian. Joining me as usual. It's Tony. It's Tony, yeah. And, yeah, we're not joined by anyone else today. So. No. If you want that, you have to go listen to the enthusiasts over. Well, it's typically on Thursdays. Yeah. It's... <laughs> yeah. Boy, I'll tell you what. I'm really glad I set that up to uh, to release the night before. I'm glad I didn't count on myself to come home last night and uh, <laughs> post it. Cause, what oh, do you boy. mean, Brian? <laughs> <laughs> It's not I didn't, like we did anything yesterday. Well, normally what I do is, you know, I, I post the show and then I go through like the Facebook groups and uh, and Tumblr and different stuff to post all the little, you know, the other ways to promote it. And yeah, none of that got done last night because I can't really schedule a lot of that. I forgot I could have scheduled the Tumblr and some of the Facebook posts. I right, but uh, I totally forgot and I was like, whoops. So yeah, that that all went up today. Uh, yeah, last night we decided to, uh, you know, go have go out, you know, a few of us and, uh, you know, ha- have some dinner. Had some dinner. Also some bees. <laughs> Just a few. <laughs> Just a Just few. Just a few, yeah. Oh, oh boy. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah. You know, the best the best idea on the night was ending the night with the 9% Scotch Ale. <laughs> yeah, I am really not sure what we were thinking there exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All I know is I got home, I ate, because, you know, again, my game plan is always to put some food stuffs back into my stomach um, towards the end to kind of help sop up some of it. And and then I was sitting here and I'm watching TV. No, I was playing Diablo, actually, because I thought, hey, I'll jump on and play Diablo. That's a good idea when you have the nods. (laughs) Well, yeah, of course. (laughs) So I'm fighting to stay awake, and I'm just like nodding out, and looking up, and there's like eight, eight or ten villain or uh, you know demons or whatever attacking me. <laughs> <laughs> That's the worst. When Luckily, I was. Uh, it's a brand new character, so I, I, you know I'm on the lowest difficulty for the first run through, so it's no big right. deal. But it was still, <laughs> it was just still really funny. I'm like, Ugh. like all right, I gotta get to a save point, like because you know, like when you explore around, if you. Um, if you quit the game, like all the exploring you did when you reboot it will pretty much be gone. You'll have to, and I usually, you don't have to do it because I played it through so many times. I don't need the gear and stuff, but I do it every time because I, I'm a completist. So, right. yeah. But yeah, that was not smart after. But so. Yeah, my, my, when I, my whole game plan was I drove home and I had my water jug from work. Yeah. And I was just, slamming water all the way home right meanwhile i went mountain dew at first and then i was like man i need to drink some water <laughs> <laughs> and then yeah i just like i came home and just nose dove in the bed well i don't doubt that that was pretty much your game plan no matter what so yeah, yeah. it was 
I mean, even on like the last stretch of road, I was like tired. Yeah. And I was like, oh my God, I'm so fucking tired. <laughs> I'm almost home now. Maybe I should have just pulled over in a ditch upside yeah. down. <laughs> <laughs> that worked out yeah. real well. Right. Yeah, you know. Yeah, it was a good time, though. We haven't done it, you know, really in a while. We, yeah. You know. It was. It was a lot of fun. Yeah. Saw some, you know, some of our favorite, well, one of our favorite yeah, people. Like some, uh, yeah. 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 Got to see, you know, a friend of ours. We haven't, well, at least I haven't seen in a very long time. So, you know, that was cool. Yeah. I tried to help her for keg behind the bar. Oh, Failed. That, that wasn't the friend I was referring to, but yeah. Oh. We got to see her too. Yeah. I've heard talking about Jessica. No, I was talking about Tony. I haven't yeah. seen Tony in a long time. Yeah, I haven't that's seen true. Jessica yeah. in a while either, in fairness. Sorry, I always, you know, I was just thinking of women first. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I understand. Like, what am I going to do? <laughs> right? Oh, man. Yeah, but, you know, it's funny. That was um, one of the few times we've gone to that place and not really done a ton of people watching. Like, we did, but there wasn't really much to see because there was nobody in there. It wasn't that busy upstairs. No. Like, there yeah. was nobody interesting at the bar. No. Like normally there's at least one goon at the bar that we can that we have a la- like last time there was the guy with the chalice, you know. <laughs> there was uh, nothing. Yeah, exa- what the fuck? Yeah, exactly. I don't know what just happened to my my thing here. Uh, that was weird. But yeah, there really was some overdrive was happening on my table. Ooh, nice. Yeah. There just wasn't much of anything people watching wise up Yeah, well, so. which is fine cuz we just yeah. sat there and bullshitted. Right. We yeah. you know, narrowly narrowly avoided disaster with uh you know, uh, tornado warning hitting while we were there. Oh, jeez. Yeah. But, you know, we just ignored it and kept drinking. My my whole thoughts on the thing was, you know, this building's brick and iron. It's been here since the early 1900s. Yeah. We're good. I agree. I, I again, I, I go by the local, you know, uh, uh, meteorologist. Uh, that He's pretty calm most of the time. And if he's, like, flailing his arms about yelling danger, you know, yeah, then... Uh, yeah, it's one thing. By the way, you just missed a great opportunity on the soundtrack. Yeah, I know. I just thought of that. <laughs> Danger! Watch your back! Danger! It just hit me. I'm a, I'm a right. slow motion. It's I didn't okay. get much sleep last it's night. all right. I understand. I spent half the day feeling like hot garbage. Yeah, you'll do that. You'll do that. It's fair. Yeah, I was like, I got up and guzzled water. All right, man. That's what I did when I first got up, too. I was like, you oh, know, Took God. the cardigans off my teeth. <laughs> Right. And, like, forced myself to eat breakfast because I knew I was I needed it, you know? Yeah. Although I was not feeling it. But uh, I'm like, you got to, like, eat, bitch. Choke it down, you savage. I missed one of the key steps in the recovery process is that I forgot to take a couple aspirin last night. So I yeah, woke I, up about uh, 6 this morning and, oh, my God, my head was killing me. And I was like, well, also, part of that is, you know, I have sinus issues. So, and with the storms and all that, what not going on. Right, you know, so I had a nice one-two punch there. So I just took a couple shots of whiskey and went back to no. <laughs> <laughs> hair the dog, Ron. Hair the dog. Except I didn't have any whiskey last night. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was a fun night though. It, it really, I mean, I always forget how much fun we have. Although I was told this morning, Jeannie's like, you know, you need to do. Your growly nights on the weekend, <laughs> or at least on a day you don't work the next day. This is probably true for, you know, yeah. optimum well, efficiency. Yeah, well, because well, she was like, because I can't fall asleep because you're not here. And then you get home, and you just fall in the bed, and then I have beer breath on me. <laughs> and then I still can't fall asleep. <laughs> right. <laughs> And then now uh, we both have to go to work exhausted. <laughs> this is true. This is very true. <laughs> yeah, it's it's very and, you know, and really it's it's very doable for us to do that. It's just we just haven't, you know, cuz you know, we used to do it because release nights for new beers were Thursdays. Right. But now are there Tuesdays which are right out, you know. So, you know, really it doesn't matter what night we do it on as much as it used to. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we probably should at some point because it would make life easier the next day. Yeah, yeah probably. But, yeah, what are you going to do? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so we we hit up our, well, I I had a preemptive strike on the beer because I, I hit the lounge first. Right. And then I went upstairs and you guys were there, which is awesome. Well, I got a text from uh, 
uh, tea at uh, soundboard tea for for the kids in the know. Um, I got a text from him at like four thirty, and he was like, "Hey, I'm on my way. I'll text you when I'm outside." <coughs> and I was laying down because you know wicked sinus headache, and I was like, "Oh shit!" I, you know, I was like, you know, so I instantly you know leap to action, you know, shower, get myself ready, and I'm standing there, and it's like going on five. 515, 520, <laughs> and I'm like, uh-huh. <laughs> wow. Like, it doesn't huh. take an hour to get from his place to mine, but, you know, I don't know what kept him, but, yeah. So, like, an hour later he showed up, and otherwise, I'm sure we would have been down there much sooner to join you and said preemptive strikes. Well, I didn't know you guys were up there. Well, you, we had just got there when you came up. Well, but I'm yeah, just, you know, because, so. like, usually I'm the first one there, so that's yeah. why I was like, well, usually I'm gonna go, you send I'm gonna go out visit a, Jessica, and then I'll go upstairs to get her right. table. Well, you usually send a text out and like, "Hey, I'm here," you know. Yeah, you did. That's why. So. Yeah, I was gonna I was gonna get the table and sit down, <laughs> and I rounded the corner by the hostess booth. And yeah. I was like, "Oh shit, my friends are here." See, we're all we're all out of out of whack now. You know, we're not we're not in 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 the same groove that we normally were in. It's true. Ninety seven point five, the groove. Um, yeah. Groove that. <laughs> so yeah, it was oh, man, good times though. Definitely. Yeah, it was. And I and then we went to the new uh, brewery at the end of the night. Closed yeah. out the night by going to another place. Good idea, boys. <laughs> Smart. Yeah. <laughs> hit hit up the old Black Cloister, which has only been open for I think less than a month. Hey, it's around that time. It still yeah. smelled like new lumber in there, you know. Certainly did. And I realized after a while what that was from. That was from there was a shelf right next to like that shelf where they had the T-shirts and stuff. Oh yeah. Because that's got like that wood and stuff on there. I was, that's probably where most of that smell was. Yeah, you're probably from. right. But yeah, I, was, I I really dug that place. Although they have an odds thing, it's no food, it's just beer. Yeah, yeah you but the know, beer was we only had one. We all have, all three of us got the Scotch ale, which in if we were thinking, we each would have got some one of each of the time they had. Yeah, so we could have tried every one. I mentioned that after we had all ordered. So, yeah. but eh, whatever, that's fine. You know, it, it really surprises me that like I dug the beer. The beer was fantastic. Yeah, the Scotch ale was really good. Um, but I'm surprised they don't have something like a pub mix or. Yeah, something pretzels on the bar, popcorn. corn nuts. Yeah, something. Because I, 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 maybe I'm wrong. I thought there was a law that if you served alcohol, you have to at least serve that, you know, so people kind of will take their time and eat that stuff to kind of put something I, I in their stomach. What I, I do not. know, Brian, yeah, is we can go down there and get a table because we don't want the bar for this situation. Get yep. a table. Yeah. Get like the three of us, you know, you, myself, soundboard tea. Sit down and start drinking beers. While we're sitting down and drinking beers, we've already called up Pizza Papua's for a Chicago deep dish to be delivered. Oh, my God. Will they bring it over there? I, don't, they, if, they, I read a thing as... online that they welcome you to bring food in there. Right. They don't sell food, but you're allowed to bring food no, no, in. No, no, no. That's why it was pizza, does Pizza Papua's, will they bring If, if pizza not, they just have to show up. I'll walk outside and get it. That's true. <laughs> it's not that far from there. It's only Yeah, like, but, I, yeah. you know, beers. <laughs> you're right you're right what was i thinking yeah come on now either that or we bring a patsy with us that we send for the send for yeah the really pizza. we need a, a designated pizza grabber yeah yeah that's a good call or i guess really we could just call ahead to pizza Poplis, swing by grab the pizza and just go in with it also that yeah but whatever well i mean we could do you know there's so many good restaurants out there we could just get takeout and yeah it's true but uh yeah, I like the cloister. I like how the guy walked over. Nah, judging by your guy's beard, you're in the craft beer. <laughs> right. Gives us all a handshake. Well, so <laughs> <laughs> that story's so much better if you say job instead of shake, but, you know. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. Well, maybe not. He wasn't know. an Apple rep. No. <laughs> he kind of looked like one. Um, he did, actually. Yeah, he, you know, he was super nice. All the people were super nice to us. It was funny that, you know, that couple would have sitting- taken a hand job for the other bartenders. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Or the girl sitting to our left, um, the one yeah, that was, yeah. one that was. She was very into our beards too. I don't yeah. know if you noticed that. Well, of course she was. Well, she had her fresh faced waif of a boyfriend. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Drinking a blonde ale. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, what was weird to me was when those two guys walked in at one point, and the the one dude like me mugged me like I don't know like I had just done foul things to his mom or something, and I really? don't I don't I think that. I did. Yeah, like these two guys walked in and he turned and looked and just like. All of a sudden, just like I don't know, just just evil eyed me, and I'm like, what maybe the you're fuck? at his spot at the bar or I, something. Maybe I, yeah, like it I was guess. like Norm. 
Well, then he should have said something. I yeah, would really. have told him to keep going because I wasn't going to move. Yeah, no, was, we, we had a perfect spot for the three of us. Yeah, I was scared. Yeah. I wasn't scared. Just... <sighs> yeah. But yeah, I would uh, definitely go back to the cloister. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, they played a lot of you know '90s rock music, and I was like, "Hey, I know these songs. I feel familiar here." <laughs> I just I really like the way it looked in there too, of all that old brick arching and yeah. That. All the all the metal and wood, right? It yeah, because cool. he told us about that bar about you know how it was all like done by a blacksmith and hammered yeah, all, out. all ham- hammered out and all that. Yeah, that was the first the first time the guy had made one like that, and also the last time he'll make one. <laughs> yeah, just too much work. Yeah, yeah, it was cool. Yeah, where I'm glad you, we uh, I'm glad we went out. Where do you even find a blacksmith these days? Like, like I don't. I it, um I don't know. Yeah. It's not, Civil War reenactments? I guess. Like, you don't really see commercials for blacksmithing anymore. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Come down to DeVry. <laughs> clang, clang, yeah. clang. Uh, for the fun, all of your smithing needs. I, Ever wanted to make a bucket of nails by yourself? <laughs> um, no. no. Yes, you did. Oh, right. oh, well, all right then. I guess I'll be right down. Yeah, I don't know. That's a good call. Yeah. I'm assuming it's one of those things that you have to be like, I you have to be like 12. You got to be like, I want to be a blacksmith. Yeah. And then you just figure it out. Well, I asked people earlier today the same question, and the response I got was that would probably be somebody who does, you know, like horseshoeing and such, you know, like this still does that because, right. you know, those are still, you know, generally handmade. So I was like, okay, I, I guess. i just still not sure where I would find. <laughs> hmm. You know, a blacksmith, because I, yeah, I don't know. I haven't had to have my shields repaired lately, so I, You're right. you right, know? <laughs> exactly. I haven't been using them much, <laughs> aside from in Diablo, you know. And I have a blacksmith in there, so I don't. Yeah, I'm sure there's crazy artists out there that they're just blacksmiths, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. I'm sure. Yeah. yeah, that yeah, that are you know metal like oh, I take these steel ignits and or ignit, I don't know how you say that. Yeah, hammer them out into decorative gear for your yard, right? <laughs> or your person. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Take these old engine blocks and melt them down. and Earrings. <laughs> earrings. Boom. Wait. I don't yeah. think that works. Yeah. So that was good mm. times. Yeah. I, we were a little worried at the end there when T thought that he left his uh, card. At... Yeah, he just forgot that. Now, did that, I thought that was kind of odd, to be honest. As as Megan would say from earlier this week when we recorded with her. On Screams and Moans podcast, hashtag racist. Yeah. <laughs> that uh, we both ordered beers. <laughs> right. And then T walked in because he had to, you know, he drove separate. Yeah. And then he ordered a beer and the guy collected his card. <laughs> yeah. He we, didn't, add, they know, they never collected our card. No, didn't ask us for payment. Didn't ask if we wanted to run a tab. They, I think they just assumed we did, but it was weird because they didn't. Like ask for a card of any kind. Yeah, just, and and you know. it was the one. It was the girl that you know, one yeah. of the two of them that was talking, got us our beer. And then it was the dude that came over to tea. He's like, "Ah, oh, start yeah. a tab. Let me see a card." Well, and and again, in an odd twist, um, you what never twist? you never asked the bartender what her name was. Yeah, that's true. Wow, either, I was either of them. Well, any of them, if you count the guy. Yeah, too. you're right. Because normally that's my thing. Is yep. like I, I want another name. It's usually the first thing you do. Yeah, you know, that's very true. Ah, I didn't catch your name or whatever. And yeah, what was your name again? Yeah, damn it, off my game. Yeah, and she never, she never said it. So no. she must listen to the show. <laughs> yeah, maybe she heard she heard horror stories from the Oliver House. Yeah, she knew what she was in for. She was like, yeah. "Nope." <laughs> yep, it. yep. That's exactly what happened. happened. Yeah, it's all right. Next time, for sure. Like hold her under a light and interrogate her, or just ask her. Yeah, I guess we could just ask her, too. I, guess, I don't know. <laughs> we'll have tea, ask her. Ugh, sorry. Oh, my God. You know, I tell you, I'm tired. Nah, you're God. fine. You're Damn. Fine. Just slap yourself a couple times. You'll be all set. Yeah, I know. <laughs> this is why I need podcasts to be my day job. Yes. Yeah. I agree. Or my mid-afternoon job. Yeah, that's even better. Yeah. Yeah. When I'm, like, on, like, on my game, full energy and... Vigor, fresh as a daisy, if you fresh will. as a daisy. Yeah, <laughs> no, I, I was not fresh as daisy this morning. <laughs> well, mid afternoon. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I feel like a champion mid afternoon. Right, right. 
So I said, forget this morning stuff. That's, oh, that's, that's man. That's, I tell you what, man. That's prime breakfast time and, and or sleeping time. Yeah, for sure. Or both. You just leave breakfast on your pillow and just eat your way through it. <laughs> Naturally. <laughs> Ooh, eggs. Oh, mom. <laughs> now, uh, over the weekend, you know, Jeannie and I went out on a date. Right. One's one of my favorite places to swing. You guys are getting kind of serious with each other. Yeah, you think, you know, yeah. it's crazy, right? <laughs> um, so we, you know, we had a couple beers before we went to dinner there because we're going to dinner at a different place. Yeah. And as I'm getting up to weird, go take a leak. That's what I do. Huh. Our server's coming through. This place is pretty busy right now. Right. And it's not a huge place. It's it's very tiny. Yeah, it's very narrow. Yeah. yeah. And I, I did the arm flourish to like, after you, my dear. Right. I thought and you were like, meaning like you like, did a swim move. That's what I was picturing, <laughs> but all right. Yeah. But so I, I do the arm flourish uh-huh. and completely karate chop the tree out of an art server's hand. <laughs> smooth <laughs> oh my god to, to her credit she did like some crazy like michael j fox dance so she shook a lot gotcha boy did she and she saved the glasses from being broke yeah but there was just beer because it was like four glasses of beer on her tray Man. beer everywhere oh. and we already paid i was just you know so i was like let's get the fuck right, out yeah, of here you just instantly ran out the door <laughs> but i was just like oh my god i'm so sorry <laughs> And what weird, we tipped our boy server even more than we normally would. <laughs> uh, that wasn't even because I was, like, intoxicated. It was right. just, you know, me being an arm flourish into yeah. another. Nice. Well, what are you going to do? Well, I guess the lesson to be learned there is, you know, you just, you know, just say go ahead and not, you know, no more flourishing. I guess. Jesus. How many times have I warned you about that? The what? old karate trap to tray. <laughs> Would have been funnier to me if, like, the server you were trying to let through was a female and you karate chop like a dude's tray, you know? Right. Because then it'd be like, "Come on, man! <laughs> like, like, you don't have to be that kind of a jerk." <laughs> I don't like male servers. <laughs> then that would have been a raccoon behavior, you know, type behavior. <laughs> right. Yeah. <laughs> It's like you hear stories about like Jim Norton and Colin Quinn. They'll just like slap a sandwich out of each other's yeah. hands and stuff like that. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh man. Oh, and somebody do that to me once. It made me so mad. I know I'd be pissed. <laughs> so mad. I mean, uh, I'd probably laugh, you know, after I was done murdering them for yeah. my sandwich being everywhere. Right. I mean, I then again, I guess I can't really say much. I mean, I used to be the one that would just take a beer from somebody and just chug it, you know. <laughs> so, <laughs> right. I mean, I'd always buy them another one, but you know. It's always fun just to see somebody's reaction when, like, someone sets a beer down in front of you, you just grab it and just house the thing. <laughs> ah. Especially when they turn around for a second. Yep, yep. They come back and their glass is empty. Yeah, well, I'm going to head to the bathroom. You're like, all right, cool. While they're gone, you're just like, yep, <laughs> and put it right back down. Like, doo, doo, doo. Yeah, I don't know what happened. It's crazy. Yeah. And clearly, they didn't bring you that beer you saw them bring you. Yeah, exactly. Who knew? Yeah, right? Ugh. No, we end up having dinner at this uh, this jazz cafe oh, called right. Degage. Right, that's next to Fat Fish Blue, right? No, it's oh no, not I'm in... sorry, I'm thinking of something else. Fat Fish Blue is the other jazz place in town. Yeah, dude, the, the food in this place is fucking killer, man. Well, I would hope so. the The chef is all about pork. Like they have a, their their mascot is Pierre the pig. <laughs> okay. And it, man, the food is excellent. First, we just got an appetizer. It's called the Swine Board. It was many different treatments of pig. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, yeah dude. dude. The f- they came with a thick cut piece of bacon. It was like maple, you know, bourbon or whatever. Glee. Dude. Yeah. I could just ate that. <laughs> they have a bacon steak on their menu. <laughs> How does that Which work? I, I don't know. Okay. I kind of wanted to order it, but I was at the same time, I was almost a little scared. Yeah. Because I, I, I'm i wondering, like, is it, like, steak with bacon, or is it, like, a slab of bacon prepared like a steak? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's a slab of bacon prepared like a steak. That's interesting. I know. Hmm. And I love me some bacon, but I don't know if I can house a bacon yeah, steak. Well, I guess it depends on, like, how big it is. I mean, if it's, like, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I have or something, you know. I, I have done bad. a BLT before where it wasn't bacon. It was just a slab of pork belly. <laughs> right. That's And yeah. it was really good. Yeah. That's <laughs> That's so, kind of what I'm know. saying. If it was like an eight ounce steak or something, that wouldn't be awful. You know, you could do that. Probably. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. The food is awesome. We're we're oh. we decided we're going back for Jeannie's birthday. So. All right. 
Yeah, it's, it's all like farm to table from local, and yeah. you know, their menu. Like, because I I had my meal planned out, dude. You have no idea. I did my research, <laughs> right? Right, and then I walk in, and the waiter's like, "Oh, here's our new menu. It just changed today." <laughs> I was like, Son of a. <laughs> Well, I guess when you you know you if you know you're going to a farm to table place, that's that's probably going to happen frequently. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, it's and, you know what are you going to do? But the the food is still awesome. Yeah, right. it was really good. Well, I would hope so. <laughs> They're like, here's the new menu, and it's all just garbage. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yes. Like, oh, can I get the uh, swine plate? Nope. <laughs> nope. Uh, mm-hmm. What we do have are potato chips. Yeah, with... We have the swine leavens plate. <laughs> well, depending on. Yeah. <laughs> Might be all right, depending on yeah, how it's prepared. Yeah, anyway, <laughs> getting to some like uh, uh, bizarre foods or whatever the name of that show right. is. Yeah. <laughs> what I've put in front of you is crispy hogginess. <laughs> hmm. The side of Parmesan hog urethra. <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> Which is, <laughs> it's been sauteed in truffle butter. <laughs> Uh, well, well, then. Well, in that case, mm-hmm. I'll have two of them. Yes, yes. Uh, boy. <laughs> uh. That sounds better than my week. Uh, so I was on GameStop the other day. Right. Because uh, my Xbox Live subscription ran out. And as we talked last week, there were games I wanted to download. So. Mm-hmm. Uh, I go to get that, and I was like, ooh, I want, you know, I'm like, yeah, like, do you guys, I'm looking around, I'm like, do you just have, like, a one-month whatnot, because I didn't have a lot of money, and I didn't really want to buy a three-month at the time, I was kind of like, oh, let me get a one-month now, and then I'll, you know, uh, by the end of the month, I'll I'll probably have some more money, you know? Right. And the guy's like, yeah, they don't really make the one-month ones anymore. He's Can like, you just do one month online, maybe? I, I don't know. You know, I should have looked. I don't know. But I ended up, and I, he was like, but he's like, the three-month ones we have, he's like, you get a fourth month with it. And I was oh, like, cool. I was like, well, I was like, fuck it. I'll, I'll spend the, what was it, 25 bucks or whatever to get, and it's four months. I was like, that's yeah, that's not bad, you know. So while I'm standing there, though, like this, there's a woman in front of me. Uh, well, obviously before I went through all this, but those woman in front of me has like, she's got two kids with her, a boy and a girl. And the right. boy, the boy's probably, I don't know, 12. And she, I didn't see what game it was. She's buying him a game and other stuff. I mean, and the guy's like, yeah, it'll be like 92, whatever, you know? So, uh, and she's like, okay. And he goes, you know, just to let you know, we have like some downloadable something rather that goes with it for like five bucks or something. Right. And she goes, no, I'm I'm spending enough, and it's like eh, it's fair. She's spending almost a hundred bucks, you know. But after tax, she's gonna be spending a hundred bucks, you know. Right. Um, and the kid just starts stomping on the floor, almost like he was marching in place. How old was this kid? Like probably twelve. Oh my god, he needs to be just choked out UFC so, style right there. Well, it's it's not just that. So he starts stomping, and I'm standing there just looking like, what the fuck, you know. So. He does that, and then he just starts going on the, you know, this isn't fair. I can't believe you wouldn't buy this for me. You don't love me. You know, the same stuff. Oh, my You know, the God. shit that most kids use as their tactics. You know? Yeah. So my first inclination is, you know, cuff the kid upside the head and say, hey, you know, learn some damn respect. But second of all, and then the mom looks at him and goes, I said no. Turns around and goes, how much was it again to the, you know, for the overall price? Right. And then pays and what I was like, ah, I was like, I so wish I would have um I wish the mom would have been like, you know, hey, you know what? Tay, I'm not gonna get any of this and just walked out. Yeah, that would have been the that actually would have been the best treatment right there. Yeah. I was I was telling Jen this story earlier in the week and uh she was like, you know what would have been great is if the woman was like when the kid does that, the kid the woman goes, Okay, well, so we won't get that and he's like, Well, we're also not gonna get this game. Or whatever, to where it leaves something, but it's not, like, some of it. And right. just be like, if you want to continue, I'll keep handing things back, basically. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, that's actually pretty good. I like that one, you know. But it was, I was like, oh, my God, just See, kudos we, to we've, the woman for we've saying done that no, before. at least. You know, at least the woman said no, you know. Yeah. But still, the kid still wins because the kid gets the other stuff. Sorry, go ahead. Let's see, we, we've done that before where... You know, like we because we go to a lot of coffee shops. Yeah. Typically, we let the kids get something. Right. And, and they're, the unfortunately, because they're growing like fucking weeds. They are. Yeah. They're at the point now that they both get something separate. But it used to be they would split something. Yeah. 
And there was may, uh, more than once that they would argue and couldn't decide. Yeah. And we'd just be like, you know what? We're leaving. And nobody got anything. <laughs> right. Because we, we just left. Yeah. Because <laughs> one, you know, I don't want, I don't want to have other dude. people in this establishment deal with my kids arguing oh, with each dude, other. Dude, I remember you know? when we first talked about opening a comic shop, like the very first time we talked about it. Like right. We were at Red Robin, and Jeannie was there with Logan, and Logan was still pretty young at the she time. Had been, if it was pre-comic shop, he was young. Yeah, I mean, yeah. very young. So he was probably like one and a half or yeah, two. Yeah, exactly. Probably. And I remember he started crying, and Jeannie was like, I'm going to let you guys stay and talk. I'm going to take him and go home. So the, right. basically, so this doesn't like annoy other people and whatnot. And so, you know, I've always, like, you guys have always been ahead of that kind of a thing. And, I mean, because yeah. she didn't have to do that that day, but, you know, whatever. So, similar with... You know why, Brian? We're bad motherfuckers. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, my mom was always that way, though, too. Like, if I was in the, like, if we were at a store and I started, like, whining, complaining, oh, it's not fair, me, me, I got nothing. It right. wasn't even like I like I said I wouldn't have I still I wouldn't have got the ninety some bucks in games I would have got enough or even if my mom would have bought them I wouldn't have got them when I got home. No, absolutely not. I would have got it, but it wasn't the game I would have got. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, foot in the ass. <laughs> you know, <laughs> if you're lucky. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I certainly wouldn't have got those games because that's not how things worked. You know, that's not Ugh, how it works. Shitty kids. Yeah. So I said, at least the mom said no on the extra stuff, but it was like really in the the big picture, she turned down five bucks. Right, instead of uh, a, almost a hundred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but whatever, I, you know, at least she said no. You rarely hear a parent say no anymore. So. Yeah, this is very true. Because you know, most parents would rather just cave in to deal with and not deal with the kids stomping and whining. Yeah, yeah. Well, plus a lot of parents I, I know will just do it because. They're in public and it's embarrassing, so they just want it to stop. Yeah. So they'll they'll just give in, so the kid and, will stop. And people are idiots if they don't think their kids don't know that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that's why yeah. I always said when I, ever somebody tells me they put their kids in timeout, I'm always like, you know, I I would have owned my parents if they used timeout as a method. Right. I would have done whatever the fuck I wanted to do because I'd be like, they're just gonna sit me in a chair. Okay. You know, who cares? I'll just do what. I'm <laughs> Screw you, I'll, you know, whatever, whatever, I'll do what I want, you know. I got to say, we did the timeout thing with Leah, and it was yeah. super effective. Well, it's funny, because I don't think a lot of kids truly, like, break down how in control they can be with timeout. You know, yeah. most kids, it, it sucks. Don't get me wrong. Sitting in a corner just sucks, you know, or sitting off by yourself. Like, my mom used to make me go to my room and sit on my bed, but I had to leave the door open, and if she heard any sound out of there, I'd get in more trouble. Right, because you know, I, obviously, I can't go in my room and play with toys or watch TV or anything. You turn the radio on, nothing. I had to go sit on my bed, right? And that was it. Couldn't go to sleep. I had to sit on my bed, <laughs> you know. So it, it just, you know. But she would check on me. But it was just funny. I was like, God, if that was the only method she used, I would have probably done way worse stuff, <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I hear you. But whatever, you know. If it works, it works. I just. It, just, it worked for her because, I mean, if she would get all fired up about something, we'd be like, you know what? If you can't have a conversation with us, yeah. you, go sit until you can talk. Right. She needs to go calm down is what Yeah, happens. and, and sure. that's exactly yeah. what it was. It was a, a reset, you know? Yeah. Let and that it, dumb little computer reboot. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, yeah, in, in that I definitely uh, 100% can see how that would work because yeah. you're right. So, I mean, adults need that sometimes. You know, we get pissed at somebody else and it's like, just, just leave me alone for a little bit. You know, you need like twenty minutes or whatever to calm down a little bit. Yeah. And you're like, okay. Let me drive down this inner chimpanzee <laughs> asking me to smash your face in right now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, that's why I said, you know, like even with that kid, it's like, you know, my first inclination was to cuff him upside the head. You know, hell yeah. And I don't mean as a, a parenting method. I just mean as a person. I just wanted to go upside his head and be like, hey, yeah. show your mom some fucking respect. Yeah, exactly. You know, man up, you little bitch. Yeah. Like, what are you doing? Like, great example you're showing for your little sister here. Yeah. Like, who's probably going to be, you know, a raging bitch if, you know, she <laughs> listens to you. So he becomes the godfather. You can act like a man. <laughs> right. What's the matter with you? Yeah. Smack. What are you, a savage? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So that was interesting, you know. That was a very interesting situation. They left, and I looked at the guy working there, and I was like, wow. And he goes, 
I've been working here a while. He's like, I've never seen a kid stomp like that. <laughs> and I'm like, me either. I'm like, I worked retail for a while. And I know, you know, I've seen kids throw themselves on the floor, throw themselves at things, flail about all that. I've never seen a kid like stomp like he was marching in the SS or something, you know? <laughs> well, maybe his parents have a secret. I, maybe. Yeah. Apt pupil all of a sudden. It was just so funny. It was just, Nerr! you know, it was, it was almost, well, like most little kid fits. It was almost comical, you know, right? Because you just see the, you know, I mean, he wasn't really a little, little ball of anger or whatever. Yeah. So yeah, that was fun though. Ugh. So this is my favorite time of year in Toledo, Ohio, Brian. Uh, where <laughs> because the weather can't make its mind up. Yeah, <laughs> where it's well, like 70... it's just past winter. Yeah. So all the roads are still absolutely shitty. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And then it pours rain. Yep. And then it's pothole roulette. Yeah, it certainly is. Where it's like, is it a puddle or am I going to lose a tire? From from what I've been reading, it sounds like potholes are a significant problem for a lot of the country. Like a lot of states don't have the money to fix these potholes. Yeah, it's because the infrastructure. So yeah. I, I got This oh has got to be a problem that's got to be addressed at some point. Here, right? Here's something uh, Jeannie was telling me. This fascinated me. Okay. Is they had a a woman walking to her work to you know like get a petition signed? Yeah. Oh about, yeah. <laughs> did you I hear the story? I, I think I heard the story, but tell it anyway. All right. And um, that the woman was like, "Well, signed a petition to not have you know the against the tax levy to fix the roads." Right. Real quick for those who don't know, like in Michigan right now, there they have a thing that's going to for the people to vote on that if this levy passes, the money is all supposed to go to fix the roads. So, you know, it's going to be a, what, a sales tax increase, I believe. Yeah, sa- yeah, it's a sales tax increase. <laughs> yeah. And the roads are horrible in Michigan. Oh, and they're worse when you go up further, too. Yeah. Yeah, they're brutal. Yeah. I, I, t- I take different routes home now to avoid certain parts of roads because yeah. they're so bad. I don't doubt it, yeah. Anywho. Um, so Jeannie's like, um, yeah, they they kind of, no, I, I, I want that increase cause, so they could fix the roads because we have no money for infrastructure. Yeah. No one's like... Well, it's the, where do you think the government's going to get the money from? And no, what the fuck did she say? God damn it. I'm ruining the story because I'm, I'm tired and not <laughs> fully functioning. I, I think the woman said she was like, well, they're going to fix the roads anyway. Or, or yeah, they like, they can pay for it anyway. It's the government basically is what she was yeah, alluding to. Yeah. Not understanding like, where do you think she, they get that money from? Yeah. You dumb idiot. Exactly. Have that issue with people a lot where they don't, fully understand how in order to get what you want generally there has to be a raise in taxes somewhere because yeah. that money has to come out of someone's it's gotta pocket. come from somewhere yeah I, I know a lot of people have an issue with michigan because it was just a year or two ago that the governor actually supposedly did some stuff like moved some whatnot around that was supposed to free money up for the roads and now right. it looks like that money has just gone poof and you know weird (laughs) yeah and you know so a lot of people are like don't want to vote for this because they feel like the same thing could happen and you know there's a whole there's a bunch of whatever between it you know whatever i i don't want to get too far into it but it's just you know it's just funny though you can't just expect things to just magically get fixed it doesn't work like that that's the way the world not gonna wave their road fixing wand right that's how the world works when you're a child Yes. You know, things get magically fixed. Mom kisses your boo boo and then you feel better. You know, all of a sudden, poof. You know, you have ice cream and you feel amazing. You know, when you're an adult, yeah, you're standing there waiting for someone to kiss your boo boo and, yeah, there's nobody. <laughs> right. They're just like, well, what are you waiting for? <laughs> like, get the hell out of here. Doesn't help when you're an adult. The boo boo always happens to be on your dick. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a whole different story. <laughs> it's like, I stubbed it again. Come on. <laughs> I Come stubbed on. it on your vagina. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Oh boy. Yeah, I don't know. people are fast. Oh, it is a mess, though. I mean, you're talking, you know, in, in Toledo, uh, in Ohio, in Michigan. I know for sure. In Pennsylvania, I know they've got it. You know, and a lot of it makes sense. A lot of it's in the like the states where it like goes from like cold to hot, like in a, a snap. Basically, oh, that's that's a problem. Is it all melts and yeah. seeps and the cracks and it freezes and busts yeah. everything up. Plus, we use tons of salt in this area. So much salt, and, and even worse, even brining, which is salt water. Yeah, and that, it's even yeah. worse. And it's it's all horrible for that stuff. And it, it's yeah. you know, 
and with the way the weather has been here the last few winters, they've had to put more and more salt down. Yeah, because it's just, insane. Yeah, it, it's just it's a horrible cycle, and it's gonna be a it's gonna be a real bitch to get it fixed. Because yeah. even if they had all the money set aside that it takes, it's still gonna take a long time. Like they were showing on the Detroit News the other night. <clears throat> excuse me. That um, murders. Like yeah, well, they show plenty of those, but uh, <laughs> they were showing like the highway. And there's, like, one lane on – I forgot which highway it is. Like, there's this huge stretch. Like, you almost can't drive down it. There's so many holes, and they've been patched. and But it, it, it needs to be shut down and just cut down and redone, you know? Yeah. They're going to have to shut down probably three lanes on this highway, and it's a four-lane highway. <laughs> well, that's like what they finally did to the road out front of my house. Yeah. They, they eventually redid – I mean, ripped the whole thing up and put yeah. new road in because it was so jacked up. Yeah. Great road. Thank now. God they did. <laughs> yeah, it was awful before. You were not kidding. Uh, I remember Ugh. going down that road and it, was like, it looked like watching someone um, slalom ski. You yeah, know? <laughs> dodging potholes and yeah. every like fifteen feet there was a divot <laughs> just yeah. going down. It was pretty sweet. Yeah, it was horrible. It was a lot of fun, especially riding in your jeep. It was a lot. Oh of fun my god! <laughs> yeah, it's such a. It's like riding on a cloud. Yeah. Yeah. yeah sure. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, good times. Yeah. Good times. Oh, man. So this is going to bring the show down. Um, Do I? So this is going to bring the show down. All right. Um, so earlier this week, like for those who don't really follow and stuff, like I, I haven't worked in a long time. And I'm having issues like with the whole trying to get a job thing. And I don't mean that I can't find a job. I mean that I have issues with, you know, my depression and anxiety that are, making it very difficult for me to get to the point where I really try to get a job. And I threw some stuff where I was trying to apply for a little bit of assistance while I'm trying to, you know, I got to go talk to my doctor again, maybe get medicine straightened out and such. I applied for some, you know, government assistance. So I had an cheese and peanut butter. Pretty much. Yeah. Sweet. I had an appointment this week. So I go up to Monroe, which, you know, half an hour from here. Ugh, right. I go up there and I meet with the caseworker and she basically then tells me, like, I basically filled out, like, all the paperwork. Like, meaning by all the paperwork, I mean, like, every bit of paperwork that could be filed, I pretty much filled out. Um, every sheet they had in the building. I think so, yes. <laughs> they had a, just a cabinet and they were just like, fill all these out. Um, I get in this meeting with the woman and the woman goes... So why can't you work? And I tell her, you know, that I've had like a two week stretch where I only got out of bed basically to piss and barely eat, you know, like those kind of things to where for the most part, I've kept that aspect of my depression to myself. You know, I, I tell people about it and different stuff, but I haven't necessarily really talked a lot about that, but I've gone on a few weeks stretch where I've pretty much just not gotten out of bed. And stuff like that. And then when I, like I said, when I think about, you know, again, you know, a liquor store right up the street from here was hiring full and part time. And I could not bring myself to go apply for the job. I just right. talked myself completely out of it. And it's the way my head works. Like even tomorrow, we're going to, you know, a local comic convention tomorrow that's in town. We have free passes for it, you know, media passes, and you're I've all esteemed members of the press. Exactly, you're correct. <laughs> Na- national treasures that we are. Exactly. But my head is already right. My head has already tried to come up with excuses to not go. Right. I don't, and I, it's not that I don't want to go. It's just my head keeps doing that. So anyway, but a lot of this leads to why I'm I'm not working because I can easily see myself getting a job, and then just not going into work. I, right. Without a pro, I could see myself losing a job really fast. I don't feel that right now I'm mentally ready and able to go get a job. So I'm like I said, I'm just trying to find something to kind of help me over the hump for the moment, not long term permanent stuff. Just whatever. This woman gave me all the business about basically like almost like she almost basically gave me a talking to like you're 36. You should be ashamed of yourself that there's days where you just lay around on the couch. <laughs> At one point, she goes, well, did you ever think that getting a job would help you out of your depression? She's like, you know, and I'm like, you know how it is when you were sick and uh, a kid and your parents would be like, get up, get moving around. Sometimes you feel better, you know. Right. Or, the well, you could be sick at work. You might as well be sick at work. You know, the attitude you and I, well, I used to go through and you, I know, apply all the time. 
Yeah. If I'm going to be sick, I might as well be at what, work. What, my arm's hanging off? I got <laughs> yeah, it. I'm fine. Give me, hand me the tape. I got work to do. <laughs> but, dude, she pretty much just, like, I don't know, man. It was just, like, I understand she deals with a lot of shady people in her job, I'm sure. Right. A lot of people just looking for free this and that. And, I, and listen, yeah. I know I am, but it's like I'm also the type that the last damn thing I'm going to do in the world is ask for a handout like that. That's not who I am. I hate doing that. Right. And just the whole time, like, she's going through this, and I'm sitting there, and I'm just like, in my head, I'm kind of like, how much of this do you want to tolerate? You know, to, in, in my yeah. head, you know, kind of like... At one point, I, I'm just going to get up and start stomping on the floor. And <laughs> <laughs> but, Here comes that chimpanzee we were talking about earlier. I like, yeah, I'm just like, you know, I'm in here and I'm telling you that I have depression and I have anxiety and all this. The last damn thing I need is a guilt trip. Right. Because it's like, I already feel like shit, you know? I already don't like who I am. That's the nature of the beast. Right. You know, I fight this every freaking day. And then she's like, well do you just want to lay around all the time? And I'm like, no, like, fuck no. Yeah. I want to experience life from my couch. That's wait, wait, exactly what I'm price is right on. Well, that's different, but <laughs> you know, it's like, God damn, you know, like, come on. Right. Like, most people don't want to just lay around, you know? It's like, yeah, I love the fact that I, you know, I'm 36. I don't drive. I don't hang out with people like I used to. And Whoa. Last night, son. I hate myself all the time. Yeah. It's just, man, it's a blast. That's why I said at different times, you know, I wish I could make someone go through what's in my head for a day just so they fucking understand. So, yeah. So I certainly needed a night like last night (laughs) because that washed that taste out of my mouth pretty well. Yeah. Good beer will do that. Yeah. Good company and good beer will do that. You are correct. And pizza. And pizza. Yeah. Hugs from Jessica. Also true. These are all good things. It's true. It's true. Yeah. So yeah. Anyway, there Until we go. I woke up this morning. I'll I'll step off my what was it? Soaps. How did I say that the one time? Do you remember soaps box or whatever it was? I don't remember what you yeah. said. <laughs> I think it was like soaps box or something. Because I think I pluralized the wrong word or something. But yeah, yeah. So your soapstone. Yeah. Freaking love it when people don't have depression. You know, tired to tell somebody with it how they should live. It's fucking amazing. Well, yeah, naturally. She admitted to me that she has migraines all the time, and I kind of wanted to just smack her in the back of the head and see if I could trigger one for her. Right. Be like, yeah, enjoy the rest of your day, bitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks, I appreciate it's, it. Yeah, now you're not allowed to go home. You aren't allowed to do anything but 100% put full attention into your work from now on. <sighs> anyway, so let's move to anything else. Yeah, all right. Fair Unless you have something to add to that, then by all means. No, not really. Besides, it sounds like she's real twat. Yeah. Yeah. Ding. Ding. Well, I guess since we're on the uh, let's bring the showdown mode. Oh, I thought I thought you were like the Twat Express. I thought you had something. To... The twat Express. <laughs> I don't know. That sounds like a great train, though. It sounds like a great show name, but I can't name it that. That's true. Yeah. Um, no, uh, I was telling you earlier because my my dog's on high blood pressure medicine now. Oh, right. Yeah. Right. Because like half her heart is swollen, which is weird. Okay. Yeah. Only half. It's a good the- half, I guess. It's the half that I guess it was the other half she'd be throwing up all the time. Oh, okay. So it's the half that isn't that. Okay. Well, so so if you're gonna have half a heart swollen, it's the better it's that op- half. Okay. Fair enough. But yeah. So they put her on blood pressure medicine, so you know to help help things out or whatever. Yeah. But every time I get her medicine out, because she, you know, I, I'm not the very, I'm not the type that I'm gonna throw the pill in her mouth and like. Squeeze her beak shut don't and go like, punch her in the neck until she swallows it. I don't think that you're telling the truth right now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, usually I'll just like like put because the pill's itty bitty. I'll like put in a piece of cheese or I'll just a little right. bit of leftovers from dinner. Sure. And, you know, I understand you nestle yeah. her close to your bosom and you know. Yeah. All this. <laughs> but it's it's got to the point now yeah. that when I grab the medicine bottle, mm. the cat gets so fucking excited because occasionally. <laughs> Like 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 scraps will fall and the cat will get them. Oh, okay. So the cat's you know? excited more about like the potential for food stuff. Yeah. Okay. Like I grabbed. The I was like, "Why are you giving hear your... a little? Yeah. They hear a little pill rattle, and the cat's just like <laughs> meow 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 meow. And I'm like, "Fuck off, healthy one." <laughs> that cat's just showing off. That's all it is. I, yeah, I know. What a dick. 
Like, Jesus, Maybe get we, out of here. We are still on the Twat Express. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> Showing off his healthy it, heart. Yeah. <laughs> Who's got two paws and a healthy heart? Yeah, <laughs> This <really>. guy. <laughs> what a dick. Oh, man. But yeah, so that's what we're dealing with now. Is a, a sick dog ah. that you know. That's all I'm like because I just recently. Well, it's been fucking cold, but you know, I was like trying yeah. to get into going out and like running or walking or doing anything that's cardio esque, right? Cartwheeling, I, and I was gonna take the dog, but I'm like, I don't know if I want to take the dog. Now. Probably, yeah, yeah. Be on a nice like swift, brisk pace. It's only I'm dragging the leash for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm trying to think, there was a, I think there was an episode of The Simpsons like that where at one point like. Santa's little helper is just like they're walking or is it just dragging behind them? <laughs> yeah, that's not what you're looking for, though. Yeah, for sure. I, I, I should have because I, I unfortunately am never the one to take her to the vet because it's always during the day. So, Jeannie, I need to make sure next time she goes, be like, so can the dog run still or do we need to keep its activity level down? Yeah. Or because it might, you know, my dog, she's pretty fine, but if you like twitch wrong, she's like, whoosh, she flies around the house like a right. missile. So yeah. that's all I say. Is her tumbling well, down the stairs? Right? Yeah. Well, like when I was, I mean, this is somewhat different, but you know, when I was put on blood pressure medicine, the doctor told me to kind of keep my activity level lower for a, a little while, basically until the medicine. You know, my body kind of got used to the medicine and whatnot, oh, and then right. I was cool to do, you know, nothing like I normally do. Oh, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, get get drug along on leashes by everyone. <laughs> Come on, Brian. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Good times. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Asshole cat. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Um, Speaking, of, I guess, coffee. Should, this, I, this struck me as weird, but I guess not because the more I've been thinking about the board, it almost makes sense. Okay. But we're in a Starbucks, as is tradition. Right. The gentleman in front of us, who's an older guy, gray hair, probably 60s, maybe... Going towards 70. Right. Buys his coffee off his fancy smartphone. No, I'm sorry. He didn't buy a coffee with his fancy smartphone. He bought a newspaper with his fancy smartphone. Okay. He used a Starbucks app to buy a newspaper. Okay. Right? And it struck me as odd first because I'm like, dude's got a smartphone. What are you doing buying a fucking newspaper? Right. But at the same time, it might be just a comfort thing for yeah, him because that's, yeah. his, that's his generation. Yeah. I could see that. No? Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of people that, you know, it's kind of like, you know, with, uh, like, comics and stuff. It's like I read all of them digitally now, but it's like, God, I fucking, I miss having that, like, pile of books, you know, when you're fresh from the comic shop, you know? Yeah. Like, oh, I yeah. miss having that big stack of books to go through and, uh, you know. That new book smell. But what I don't miss are freaking piles of long comic boxes with back issues, you know? Right. So, it's a... Yeah, it's just a, it's it, the contrast of the new tech and the old tech. Yeah, it is kind of funny though ordering yeah. a new. I mean, yeah, because he uses his, his smart his Starbucks app, which has money on it. Right. Bloop. Then paid for a newspaper. <laughs> it just was like that is so. It, I mean, it was weird enough that I just put it in my notes because it just struck me as odd. Right. It's like driving your car to where your bike is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like wearing those really awesome like like Under Armour compression socks. With like Ben Franklin buckle shoes, <laughs> right? It's like rain on your wedding. Day. Wait, no, that's not. <laughs> <laughs> Is that ironic? That's not right at all. Nor is it ironic. Don't you think? <sighs> Damn it! Oh man. Yeah, it was weird. Yeah, it sounds like it. Yeah. Should have asked him. Then <laughs> you just swatch across the face with the newspaper. Ah, whippersnapper. And then you know why, why he bought it. <laughs> He's like, I don't know what this is. This little device gives me free newspapers here. <laughs> like, yeah. Oh, his grandpa. Kids, his kids just keep loading the yeah. <laughs> Starbucks app for him. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, okay, Dad, bastard. all you have to do is hit this when you're at the store. <laughs> it's like, sweet, this is magic. <laughs> I did want to just tell him, like, don't you know you have all the world's news as it happens rather in your than, pocket yeah, right now. Rather than day-old news, yeah. Yeah, not the stuff that they decided to, yeah, use a day-old news. Yeah, because that's the worst part, because, you know, it's like, God, I remember I remember getting the newspaper and, you know, looking at the sports in it, and then I was like, hey, what's this ESPN? <laughs> right, <laughs> I was like, exactly. Then I was like, hey, what's this internet? And then... Hey, what's this board? <laughs> basically, the only thing I... <laughs> yeah, the only thing I use newspaper for now is, uh, you know... 
packing stuff if I sell something on eBay. Yeah, that's <laughs> so, the only thing I use it for yeah. is starting charcoal for my grill. Right, you know. Or, you know, when you're looking at porn, whatever. Yeah, you, well, you got to put Mary, newspapers down. Right, take that, Mary Worth. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, Kathy. Ugh. Oh, Blondie, you're always so hot. Make the sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> Dagwood's a cuckold. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. It's just amazing that Dagwood hasn't died of a heart attack. <laughs> he invites he invites Sarge down from Beetle Bailey yeah, from right. his comic strip to just rail Blondie. <laughs> like it beats off in the corner. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, that took a dark turn. <laughs> <laughs> Could have been worse. I guess said Marmaduke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Oh man, damn it! I can't think of her name. I was trying to think of the uh, the uh, woman that's in the uh, Beetle Bailey strip. Is it um, Buck- Buxley is her name, maybe. I don't think probably because <laughs> Buxley. Yeah. I remember it was a big deal when they they stopped drawing cleavage on her. Yeah, because for the longest time, I kind of didn't understand that. You know how yeah, newspapers they, yeah, weren't she was like, being uh, objectified. Mm, yeah. Yeah, by the general or whatever. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Jeez. Oh, he's a four-star general. What do you expect? Oh, he certainly was. Like, how you doing? Yeah. Hey. Yep, it was uh, Ms. Bugsley. There you go. Yep. Boom. <laughs> I can't believe I remembered that. Uh, I haven't I haven't looked at Beetle Bailey in years. Yeah, I pretty much gave up on the newspaper strips. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I couldn't tell you the last time. The only, like, unless I was, like... Again, as I was, um, you know, packing something I had sold on eBay, and I happened to, you know, as I'm doing it, I happen to see the funnies, and you know, maybe I'll read a strip or something. But yeah, I I don't think I've openly laughed at a comic strip since like Calvin and Hobbes or The Far Side were around. Yeah, yeah, that's the problem. Is you know, like to me, the Sunday funnies died, or the comics and the newspaper died with Calvin and Hobbes to me. Yeah. So. And I know there's some that are decent since, but it's like if I want good comics like that, I'll just go. Hop on the internet. Uh, I'll, well, I'll read Cyanide yeah. and Happiness. Oh yeah, I was actually I I own like the um what do you call it the Calvin and Hobbes like collection books. Oh right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I'll always go back to that because it's still the greatest comic strip ever. Yeah, it's pretty damn ever, good. ever, and I will almost fist fight anyone who disagrees because <laughs> <laughs> there's no comic that's better. No, not None. not that I can think of. None. Not for creativity and art and. Yep. Yeah. Nope. Plus all the philosophy stuff that was built into it. And oh, yeah. It was great. It was an awesome book. Good book. And it holds up. <sighs> it was an awesome comic. Well, it's a book now. You know? Well, yeah, that's true. Books, depending on how. Well, not depending on how. I don't. Uh, unless there's like one big like omnibus for it or something, which I don't. I think. don't think there is. Because like the version I have is like three giant books, I think. so. Right. Yeah. Because uh, my mother-in-law has it too. Yep. Because the kids have, I think, read the whole series, as, as they should. should. Yep. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I know. I need to get to, uh, what is it, Columbus, I believe it is, has that, like, uh, animation. There's, like, a museum or something there, and they have, like, I think they have, like, some of, like, the original artwork from it. Oh, uh, that's pretty cool. I would just, you know, just geek on seeing some of that stuff up close. Just yeah, for sure. You'll never own it, because, like, none of his art ever hits uh, sales. Right. He donated a bunch of his art to like this museum and stuff, you know. So I would love to own a piece of Bill Watterson art, but the odds of that are like slim and zero. So Go always try to get his chin. <laughs> That's another show. <laughs> <laughs> uh well. That's all I have for the week. You got anything else? Um, no, I think I'm about spent because I am I'm getting the heroin nods over here. Yeah, I noticed. <laughs> So, oh and God. we're at about an hour, so it's a good time for a break anyway. So Yeah, so um, I guess we should fill people in. Okay. That we, uh, you know, due to beer and interviews and such, and, uh, and guesting on our shows, which we did guess on the Screams of Moments podcast, yeah. which I don't know when it's going to be out, probably in May, because I think she's doing it monthly now. Yeah, that's right. We'll promote, we'll the promote it because it's us. Because we were funny as hell on it. Also true. As is tradition. Right. <laughs> But uh, yeah, we're we're going to Fantastic Con tomorrow, the new comic convention in our area. So mm-hmm. we're hoping to get some audio from there and plug it in at the end of the show. Or if not, worse comes worse, we'll just have our own little wrap up of it. Yeah. So, and uh, uh, either yeah. that, or you just get an hour of shit. Right. Yeah, know. we're gonna skip uh, comic talk and uh, 
uh, TV show talk yeah, this week. I didn't watch or read. Yeah, it's nothing. been a, it's been a week for both. It's of us. It's definitely been a week <laughs> for both of us. So yeah, yeah. So it's amazing how you run out of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So silly. All right. Well, we'll see you on the other side of whatever I decide to put up here next. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Let's get in the character. 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 I'm Chubby. And I'm Tommy. Straight from the fucking internet. Uh, get in the character. GIC Podcast.blogspot.com. GIC Podcast on Twitter. Uh, Podcast.network.com. Hamsterdance.com. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. References. That's our show. Not intended for the easily offended. We have Kendra here. She can do an inverted twink on command like this. Do it. That's a character. Uh, Take that out of contest. Cats. Felix and a letter. Oh. I'm hungry! Suck my dick! Sometimes we do radio play. Our show has really no purpose other than to be funny. No rhyme or reason. We usually talk about what's happening, right? We experience things during the week, and we just let it out there. Dude, no, dude. Tarantino, that's... No, man, that's so noir. <laughs> Get not loud. You can listen to us on Stitcher, iTunes. Silence is hilarious. You better not crack. We, we have all sorts of shit to use. <laughs> crack is whack. Not safe for work. He hasn't come yet. And you will too. That's uh, the way the cookie sex is. Yeah. Facebook.com slash get the character. Chubs and tubs at gmail.com. Podgodsnetwork.com. And that's what our podcast is like. <coughs> character let's get in the character let's get in the character let's get in the character two days later we have returned we certainly have damn it (laughs) although to them it was just you know a couple minutes of listening to our good pals over at the get into character podcast this is true and you should go check their show out you should go check their show out. If Friends local, of the show. Yeah, and if you're local, go check their show out. You know, Murder Party. Also true. Yeah. What are you, a savage or something? I guess. Right, so, so we uh, we braked. We went to Fantasticon. Yep. We hung out. Now we should do this chronologically. Not, no spoilers. Right. All right. <laughs> so we went to Fantasticon, the local uh, first, first year... Um, uh, comic and toy type col- uh, convention and whatnot here in right. Uh, well, not here because we're not there, but in Toledo, Ohio, which is you know, since we're Toledo's favorite sons, uh, <laughs> you got that right. <laughs> Take that, Eric. <laughs> um, <laughs> I love it. Yeah, so we went there, you know, as the Salty Language Podcast, had a look around, talked to our pal Eric Palicki, who. Hopefully we'll be on the show soon. And well, hold on, let's back up for just a oh, second. Oh, we're going further back. We went there. Yeah. As the press. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. The, the sexiest press at the convention. Yes. <laughs> at least from what I saw. Oh, we... <laughs> um, pretty sure you're dead on. But we'll get to that. Yeah. God, boy. Well, oops, I didn't mute my phone. Nope. Oh yeah, I have to put out a preemptive uh, warning. Normally when I podcast, I've like throw the kids in their dungeon, you know, but they're out wandering around. So maybe random background noise of children, people. Unacceptable. You should just end them all right now. No. Yes. (laughs) So I'm just, it's a fair warning. Fair enough. All right. Carry on. (laughs) Yeah. uh, So, yeah. So we went as uh, prestigious members of the press and uh, we had a good look around. You know, Uh, there's a good amount of uh, comic books to be had there at fair prices and such. They had um, various uh, small 
or not small, geez, they had various uh, artists and writers and such there, you know, signing and talking to the folks. Uh, as I mentioned, our pal, you know, local boy, Eric Palicki. Yes. Um, Future guest of the Salty Language Podcast. It better be, yeah. Damn straight. But, uh, yeah, it looked like a lot of people were having a good time at it. There were, It seems like a decent crowd. I don't know what the numbers are on it. I, I, I'm kind of hoping that somewhere, like, some semblance of numbers is released because I'm curious, you know. <clears throat> Uh, um, well, I pulled up a uh, an article that the Blade put out today. Oh, okay. It, Blade's our local newspaper. And it just says, uh, no joking, because they got a picture of that kid dressed up oh, as the Joker. That kid was great. I was going to talk uh, about him. Yeah. It says, uh, inaugural fantastic kinds of hit in downtown Toledo. And it says, uh, Certainly they were okay. expecting 3,000, and whoever's running the show says, there's no question that they're going to hit 3,000 or more people to show up for Excellent. the thing. Excellent. That means there's a good chance that it'll, it'll continue be, then, yeah. It'll be back, yeah. Yeah, cool. Yeah, this kid that uh, dressed as a Joker, Tony refers to, um, his I believe it was his sister, was Harley Quinn. And yes. her Harley Quinn was, was very well done. She had a big mallet. And like idiots, we didn't get a picture of him. But we're I think you we're know, the only people we, we there. We didn't do Jack Squad. No, we're pretty we're, awful. We are. I posted two pictures on the Salty Language Twitter from the show. One is of an empty booth, but it, it's of uh, a booth full of Captain Canuck merchandise and that was for our pal nickel over the graphic novice uh program right and uh, the other one i posted was of jordan um ah, damn it i forgot her last name already Jeez, that's the the actress that had the sign that said um uh, feel free to ask me who i am <laughs> right which is pretty funny which was just great yeah well i uh there's the photo gallery link to this uh, article so oh, i'll okay. put this on the website well you know because we should have got a picture of us with you know, Eric, uh, you know, with Big Dev, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. You know, those kind of things, and we certainly didn't. So. Well, I mean, uh, if there's the one thing we did realize is we were terribly unprepared. Yes. For such an event. We certainly are. And I know yeah. I know everyone who listens thinks, those guys are professionals. They know what they're doing. Yeah, we're pulling the curtain back on that one. We, yeah. we have no idea. I yeah. mean, you could have like, sent two chimps with press badges, and they probably would have been more prepared than we were. Good chance. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, they, but we know for next time. Yeah. To uh, have proper things to hand out, uh, I proper badges to display. Going, hey, we're from here. Right. And a media badge and a uh, camera, so I can get a picture of all the ladies. Oh, what a creep! <laughs> but we'll get to that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, it was cool though. You know, there were a decent amount of people dressed up in you know in cosplay, which I was something else I was curious of. I didn't know how many there, people would show. There was up. a lot of cosplay. Yeah. yeah. There's a good amount. Like I said, it you know it was certainly a smaller, a smaller convention, but it was the first year, so you know, definitely curious to see uh, how it turns out next year. But it was it was pretty cool. So, good times. Uh, yeah, it was. It yeah. was real cool. I'm glad they brought something like that back because we used to have AnCon, the gaming convention. Yeah, and, that and was I know a lot there's the uh, God, I don't remember what it's called, the anime convention. Yeah, I can't remember what it's called either. I feel yeah, bad it's I got a but, wacky name. Yeah, but they had that every year. And, yeah. Um, yeah, and now we have, uh, well, I mean, BashCon goes on for the gaming convention in the area. So yeah, yeah, that's have, true. We do have Bash still. I don't remember if they have multiple shows a year still or if they're just doing one now, but they used to have, a, like, two or three a year or something. Anyway, um, yeah, it was uh, pretty good. We got to uh, meet up with uh, Big Dev and uh, Travis and Steve from the uh, Snake Oil Comics podcast. Yeah, that was cool. They had a booth set up there for uh, Koi's Comics. Yep, just a good time. Um we were jerks and didn't buy anything from Travis. Um. <laughs> yeah, you know, I want to look on like Comicsology or something and see if they're that Michigan Comics Collective is on there digitally. Oh yeah, because that's really my thing. Is I just don't want I don't I don't have space to just store books anymore. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> you know, I understand. Yeah, I need to I need to do that. I should I should write that down yeah, actually right, right, so yeah. I don't forget. Yeah. Also, you know, we can throw a link to the Michigan Comics Collective. Uh, yeah, that's a great idea, Brian. Look at you thinking and stuff. Yeah, today, brain working full strength. Yesterday, I, before I even started drinking, it was at like half power. So then once the alcohol hit it, it was over. So Right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, that's my problem actually this weekend is like we've, we've done a lot of drinking this weekend. Yeah, we certainly have. And I have been doing a lot of sleeping. So I'm, I've just been like. <sighs> yeah, I'm the same way. Dragging. Because even though I've had more opportunity to sleep than you, I've probably slept around the same amount of time you have, which is not a lot. So it's been horrible. <laughs> even yeah, and, and today I'm even. It's almost like I'm jet lagged today, and that's right. just, well, whatever. That was last night, but 
So yeah, you know, so like I said, we got to, you know, got to meet that, got to see some cool art, got to see a, a guy that had a pretty sweet Brett the Hitman Hart uh, print and uh, that looked like the cover. I can't remember which issue of Spider-Man it is, but it's the Punisher's first appearance. Right. And uh, also a T-shirt, I guess, over at, he said tpublic.com? T- yeah, tpublic. Is it tpublic or Republic? I thought he said tpublic, but I mean, I when he just started yammering at me, I was yeah. kind of annoyed. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. All right. I was just trying to like go, hey, I like your designs. I'm taking a business card. Yeah, that's fair. No, I just I just put in T Public and it, I, a website pulled up. Okay, so that's cool. Um, yeah, yeah, it was cool. It was you know, like I said, lots of, lots of stuff going on. They have face painting for for the the children's. Looked like they had a uh, uh, trivia room or you know for and they had panels. We didn't get a chance to uh, uh, check out any of the panels. Yeah, which that's yeah. something that you know we, we didn't have all the time in the world either i mean we kind of did but we kind of didn't so yeah we got there a little late and then we had things to do that evening yeah. and you know so next time though maybe we'll have a look see at the panels and see what's going on and there was going to be a cosplay uh contest later on uh, and uh the what was it? war machine was going to play oh yeah right the the, kiss. the uh it's a kiss cover band yep yeah. Yeah, and they had uh, you know two of the walkers that were Michonne's walkers that she had on the chains from uh, The Walking Dead. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. They're judging the, the costume contest, I think. Yep. <clears throat> yeah. So you know, was all, all in all, it was pretty cool. I, I like I said, you know, you could definitely tell it was a smaller show because they didn't have a ton of like big big names or anything like that. But it was at the same time, it's like it's tough to draw that on your first year, you know, and for sure, you know, so. Because yeah. I remember when Motor City Con basically used to draw, like, nobody as far as, like, the guests, you know? Right. Like, you'd look and go, man, I should probably go to, like, Mid-Ohio Con or I should go to Chicago or something. And now, well, you know. We forgot to bring up Jeremy London. I did, actually. You're right. <laughs> he was the, like, one of big names, quote-unquote, yeah. that was there. Well, he was the guest of honor. Like, Oof. He was, <laughs> yeah. And Boy, he looked like hot garbage. It was pretty rough. Yeah, like I said, he's he's had some rough patches in his life. Hopefully, he's got that all got that all straightened out. One can only hope because yeah. yeah, I remember you know Jeremy London, a la freaking uh, Mallrats. Mallrats. Yeah, yeah, that was not so much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it happens. I mean, that's also been a long time ago. So I mean, you know. Oh, I know. I know. Believe me, I, yeah, I, yeah, I'm aware. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I feel it every time. Yep. You know what? I'm kind of perusing this uh, T Public. You know what I think this is? What's that? It's it's a great it, and you know the 24 hour shirts. Yeah. It seems like this is a website where designers can put their shirts up and they just there. Oh, okay. Because I've seen a lot of designs that I've seen on the 24 hour shirts. Oh, okay. You know, but they're like 20 bucks on this site. Oh, all right. So, so they're more, but they're yeah. But you can. It's kind of cool whatever, because if you know the yeah. design, you like. Certain designers you just click their name and it pulls up all their designs. So if you see something you like, you know, right? It's kind of nifty. I like it. Like, uh, I'm, I'm actually going to bookmark this website. Oh damn it! And I can't pull the. I was trying to pull. Well, the, well like for instance, when uh, here we go. The guy we talked to was uh, Eric Hodson, and uh, he's the one that did the Breath of Hitman Heart thing. It's Eric Hodson Illustration or Eric Hodson dot com. I'll put a link up for his whatnot. Uh, he's right. the one that did the Breath of Hitman Heart one, which I can only hope they have in my size because I need that as a T-shirt. Well, um, I just Googled his name, and it didn't come up. Oh, really? Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe he's a liar. Maybe he's a liar. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, nothing else. You know, Maybe I spelled hit, it wrong. Hit his website, or it's oh, H-O-D-S-O-N, Eric, Eric with a K. K. Yeah. One of those Erics. <laughs> yeah. But he had he had quite a few uh, prints and illustration type stuff slayed out. Yeah, that was didn't come up. Really, hmm. liar, liar, pants on fire! <laughs> How dare he? Yeah. So it's you know, that was like I said, it was pretty cool though. All in all, I yeah, all, I, I enjoyed it. Yeah. And uh, we decided that because Brian had not eaten at all that day, and I just had breakfast. That was it. It was getting late in the day. We're like, we need to get some food. As we're leaving, we ran to Big Dev. And we're like, "Hey, buddy, it's nice meeting you. We're off to get some food and some drinks." And boy, did he perk up! Yeah, <laughs> drinks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was fun. <laughs> so it was funny because he was talking to a woman, and she's like, "Well, I can let you go if you got to go get something to eat or whatever." He's like, "Oh, I'm not hungry, but drinks." <laughs> yeah, drinks. 
So yeah, we exchanged numbers, and you know, we went off to our brewery that we love the best. Sorry, and, Neil. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, Neil. And he <laughs> uh, later joined us, and we had some pints at the bar. It was pretty awesome. Yeah. Pints, some good conversation. Got to know him a little bit, you know. Yeah, for sure. It was cool. Good times were had. And, yeah. you know, once again, showing the uh, how we weren't prepared. Dev actually has a, uh, a recorder that's, a you know, a good portable one that he could have brought, and we could have done a little segment with him. But, yeah, none of us thought of that. So <laughs> Yeah, not at all. Yeah, so which just shows you what kind of shitheads we are. Extreme shitheads. Yeah. Next time. <laughs> yeah. And, you, you know, I also realized. Well, actually, real quick, we got to go back chronologically, and you got to talk about your pal. Oh, I'll, yeah, for okay. sure. I was going to say, we got to make sure we don't forget about him. Well, I got to bring up one thing. Okay. About the, our bar experience, though. Yeah. With uh, with Big Dev, was we were sitting on the corner. Oh, this, yeah. We should, well, no, I was in, not even that. Why did we not have the bartender get a picture to three of us? I actually mentioned that after we left. Uh, uh, I was like, we should have got, because we didn't get a picture, like I said, like us with Palicki. Us with, you know, Big Dev, like nothing, neither place. At, at the show, we could have got one with the Snake Oil Comics guys. We could have got one at the bar with Big Dev. We just didn't bother. Yeah, I don't know what yeah, we were thinking. We're just idiots. That's all. Yeah. I thought you were going to tell the story. Well, let, you know what? Let's go back and talk about your friend first, and then we'll come back to the bar. Yeah. Uh, buddy, yeah, my buddy, quote, unquote. <laughs> uh, we were sitting there talking to our buddy, Eric. Because we wanted to round back, so we we're getting ready to leave. Yeah. So you know, I got to talk to our friends like, "Hey, it was good seeing you." Blah blah. blah. And uh, this guy walks up, and he had this, you know, a lanyard with a media pass on it and his picture, and he had a camera, like a duffel bag. And I'm like, he took a picture of Eric after he talked to him for about two seconds, and he just kind of hung around. So I just noted, like, "Hey, your press pass is way better than ours." Because yeah. I, I really just want to know where he's from. Right. I was and, just curious. Yeah, because we and we got bracelets basically. Yeah, or, I was expecting like a lanyard to sit ri- press. That's I what I was really hoping for. Wristbands, not bracelets, but yeah. 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 So, and he's just started bringing up like, "Oh, I made this at the office." I, everywhere I go, I make one of these, and he's sort of yammering about how he he goes to conventions and he works for zero money, and he's got but he works for the biggest newspaper in Detroit, and but you know half most of his days just on the internet interacting with people, and he gets to come to these things and take pictures, and that's where it got weird. Because then he's like, you know, as long as you got a press pass and a camera, you can ask anybody to take your picture, and they'll say yes. He's like, I got so many good pictures of women. <laughs> And then he just kind of looked at me. Yeah. <laughs> and this whole time, I am trying so hard to either A, flee the conversation, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. or B, pull a friend in with me to right. have equal misery. Now, while this is going on, I'm talking with Eric, and we're I'm kind of like, oh, poor Tony. He doesn't know exactly what he stepped into, and we're giggling like, you know, like fools. We're just watching him drown and just, you know, giggling instead of, you know, throwing him a lifeline. And at one point, Tony actually turns to me and says something. I can't remember what it was. Trying to pull me in as well, and I, I just was having none of it. I iced him out hardcore. <laughs> yeah. I just kind of, I think I even just gave you a nod and then went back to talking to Eric. Cause yeah, I, was I, like, I appreciate nope. it. <laughs> <laughs> sure. I'm sending you a link in the thing. Because I'm such a Because I found that shirt. Oh, okay, cool. I'm such a pal. <laughs> yeah, that guy was a real creep. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's one of those things that, you know, you can't go to a comic convention and not meet a creep, though. I mean, it's going to happen. It's, yeah, it, it's going to, exactly, it's going to happen. But, yeah, that was that was good times, though. So, But I, I'm, I mean, I am he was completely super... stealing his idea of the make your own press pass. Oh, yeah. And, you know, and he was, you know, he was definitely a, you know, a nice dude and everything. It wasn't Yeah, like he I was... mean, all in all, he was a good guy, but and, I mean. And in fairness, it, it wasn't, you know, it's not like he came up and just started, like, you know, no, I, I unfortunately yeah. engaged him. And I've, I've warned you how many times now about engaging people in conversation, and you just I, won't I should listen. know better, especially in that situation. Yeah. Listen, if it's a pretty girl, you're probably okay, but when it, you know, outside of that, you're in trouble, man. Yeah. Or if it's at the bar setting, I should say, <laughs> we're usually okay. Yeah, because I actually had a good conversation to do at the bar. Right. So. Okay, so let's go back to the bar. So All right. We're sitting at the bar. We're waiting on potentially our, our pal Soundboard T and uh, Big Dev, and we're sitting on the very corner of the bar. Like if you picture, you know, an L-shaped bar. Basically, we're sitting at the very corner. Tony's on one edge. I'm on the other. And basically, there was a, si- a seat on either side of us, and we're kind of we sat that way, and kind of to hopefully protect those seats a little bit. Yeah. Well, 
at one point, this girl and her mom come come in, and uh, she's younger and, you know, fairly attractive. And she comes, like, they walk by, and then I, we both heard her mom say, oh, well, why don't we just sit at a table then? And we're just, you know, Tony and I just, you know, go back to whatever we were doing at the time. And a few minutes later, the girl comes up and is just like, you know, oh, excuse me, can, you know, can uh, you guys switch or something like this so that we can sit at the bar too, you know? And she's all, like, batting her eyes and trying to, you know use her feminine wiles yes <laughs> and wiggle wiggling her assets and whatnot and you know i'm like uh we're actually waiting on somebody you know at least one more person and she instantly went to frigid face <laughs> oh boy Excuse me. boy did she she went it, like immediately it was just like you know and just oh and walks away a couple minutes later like i saw her and her mom sit down at a table, and then, like, a couple minutes later, I see them getting up and just leaving. Like, just straight out leaving. And the only thing I can think of is maybe they sat in a section there was no server for. Yeah, because I'm guessing and they must have... maybe they got ignored? Just, yeah, well, they, I bet you they just blew by the hostess, like, oh, we'll just sit at the bar. Yeah, and then they yeah. didn't go back to the hostess. Right, and so they just sat down, and it wouldn't, I'm wondering if maybe they sat in... I was thinking about that earlier today, because at first we were just like, how <laughs> ridiculous is that to just leave? Yeah, and I was like, you know what? I wonder if maybe that was what it was. Is nobody came over and served them, which is still bad news because you know somebody usually in that place. Will, have you guys anybody waiting? You know, they're usually really good about that. Yeah. So, but who knows? Either way, and, it was like. And wow. truth be told, I mean, the cafe on the first floor was open, and there's a pretty good bar there too. Yeah. That's. I mean, they could have went downstairs and right. just you know, if they had to sit at a bar that bad. Yeah, because I mean, the bar was full up except for where we were, and you know, yeah. I mean. Whatever, and I don't, I don't feel bad saying no because we were waiting, and we knew, and it wasn't. It was only a few minutes later. Big Dev showed up, so yeah. oddly enough, though, in the meantime, this guy, just, <laughs> this guy just nestles up next to Tony because he heard his voice. Well, and, yeah, I mean, duh. And uh, a, a former uh, a server we've had in the past actually showed up and sat on the other side of me right before Big Dev got there. Yeah, so. <laughs> but they they found him a chair and he kind of sat in between us at yeah. the corner. And he was cool being the meat in our sandwich. So well, yeah, I mean. Who wouldn't be? Oh, yeah. Lucky him. That's all I can say. <laughs> Just, you know, three-headed monster. Damn right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's only, it's funnier if you've heard the screams and moans we were on. I know. They got they probably got a little bit before that comes out. Yeah. It's all right. It's future punchlines. Yeah. Yeah. Come back after that. Yeah. This will be real funny. It's, it's like, you know, it's like getting in on the ground floor of a stock. Yeah. Yeah. Future punchline. Right. So, yeah, so this guy sits down next to Tony, and he just, he's kind of, you could tell he's listening to our various conversations, and every once in a while he's tossing something in, and, and he wasn't like a jerk. He was a nice guy. It was yeah, just, he was you know, probably, what, his probably late 50s to 60s. Yeah. He, was an old, he was an older guy. A older, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and, he, you know, we were talking at <laughs> various beers and such as we talked with uh, Big Dev, so, you know, yeah. he was jumping in, and. Tony yeah, and he, well, like, yeah, he, he started jumping. He's like, "Oh, you guys know your beers." It sounds like, I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, we do." And, you know, we're. And he's like, "You guys all from Michigan?" And we found out he was also from Michigan. He's because at the time of the comic book convention, there's also weak signals going on in Toledo, which is a remote control, you know, enthusiast <laughs> <laughs> convention. <laughs> but so him and I started really striking up a conversation about just different beers because you know we like beer. Beer is good, right? Tony and had to it, show off it, his shorts hat to him. And try yeah, to, I was wearing my shorts hat. Tony's trying all he can to get this guy to wash his balls, but, you know. <laughs> well, I mean, once again, who wouldn't try? But it, it turns out that he's one of the organizers of the, like, beer, uh, the brewing guild conventions that we go to. Yeah. All the big beer fest in Michigan. Right, and he had, he had what, probably a three-ish hour drive or so to, down yeah. to Toledo for this. So his, Yeah, so he, he, must, he said he loves his remote control stuff. He must. I uh, mean, to drive. Yeah. You know, because I mean, we we love beer. We drove three hours for it, so I'm using that that mathematical equation. Yeah, for sure. He he must must enjoy. Uh, <laughs> now, once again, so. because we're shitheads, Brian. Yeah, I should have been like, <laughs> "Hey, do you want to be on a podcast?" Right. Because <laughs> <laughs> that would be kind of interesting to talk to a guy that started or that helped organize all these things. Yes, yes, and clearly knows about beers. Yeah, but so, you know, yeah, but ball was dropped, kicked into the street. Yeah, as is tradition. Bounced down a hill. We just stood there watching it. <laughs> yeah, got, got hit by a truck and then flipped into train tracks, which yeah. also got ran over. Then, was, yeah, we yeah. certainly just were not on our game yesterday. That's for no. sure. But yeah, it was a good conversation with the guy, and you know, 
I, I remember, well, I don't remember his last name. I remember his, his name's Dave, and I remember his face. So he yeah. told me, hey, if I see you at a beer fest, I'll hook you up. Yeah. So, all right. <sighs> I will remember. So I'd be like, hey, Dave from Weak Signals. Remember, we were at the bar. Yeah. I'd be like, who? Yeah. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> I've never like, seen what? you before huh? in my life. Have this man arrested. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Throw this asshole out. Oh, come on. <laughs> he wouldn't move for a pretty young lady. Uh, you got that right. Yeah. Not when she's got that, you know, cold snake mask underneath that face. It's throwing off. Yeah. She certainly went to bitch. I saw those reptile there. eyes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that, yeah. Was, that was a good time. Then, you know, we, we had some bees with Big Dev, then stood outside, talked some funny books oh. and other things. My I, I do something? have to say, if anyone listens to this, because Big Dev, you know, because he didn't mention whatnot, that he did stay true to the no fried food rule of the week. Yes, he walked up and Tony and I are partaking in. I we both had French fries and I also had um, chicken bites with a yeah. delicious chili soy sauce. Um, and he walked up and he's like, "Oh, you guys with your fried foods right in front of me." And I totally had not thought about that. And you had yeah, I didn't either. think about it either. So I had celery with my my food, so I offered him the celery, <laughs> but <laughs> which was hilarious. <laughs> but he turned that down as well. So yeah, yeah. But yeah, he stayed true. We just had a couple pints, and we were on our way. Yep. Yeah. And then was. we probably talked outside the Oliver House for probably forty five minutes, maybe yeah, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Talking hey, he was, ill he was of a all good your mothers. Dude. I'm glad we got the I'm glad we got the BS with him. Yeah, finally we meet another podcaster that's worth talking to, you know. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <Ouch>. <laughs> I, 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 I kid, I kid. Zing. <laughs> yeah, that was certainly that was a, a, a fun afternoon for sure. So Yeah, it, it segued into a fun evening. Oh jeez. Yeah, yesterday do we was wanna, a pretty do, strong. Do you want to cover the evening? Well, we already talked about it. Yeah, my, why not? We've pretty much Pish covered everything it. else, so yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we uh, it was our our friend, our pal, Holly's birthday that day. So we immediately uh, went to my house and dropped off stuff I took to the con, and we picked up stuff and we went to their place and resumed drinking. <laughs> yeah, that's why I said that was the only mistake we made. I had three three beers at the at the pub, and you know you're like, why are we drinking now? I'm like, the only mistake we're going to make is we're going to stop. Yeah, and that's that was where it was too, because you know we stopped for what about an hour ish. Well, yeah, two, give, two hours because day. we talked to Deb for an hour outside. Yeah, so, so yeah, that's probably probably about an hour and a half to two hours yeah. I'd wager. And then you know pretty much no more and got to Holly's and you know resumed. So it was yeah, and pu- uh, applied plenty of the alcohols to our face. Yeah, oh. there was plenty. Of, I, I I I really thought about doing the scotchy scotch. I skipped out. But I was time. like, yeah, I got to just stick to beer because if I start dipping into that, it's yeah. going to it's going to get nutty. I can feel it. Well, at one point uh Don was having Renee make uh Dark and Stormies and he's like, you got to make two at a time. So, you know, Wait, he, Dark and Or not Dark oh, and Stormies. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, Bishop uh, Hats. Bishop That's what Hats. I yeah, sorry. Uh, where it's uh, cider and then uh, uh Guinness on top. Yeah, it's a black and tan but cider and Guinness. Right. Sorry. I I don't know why I was. Thinking. They're also called Velveteens, but I prefer Bishop okay. Hat. I think yeah. it sounds cooler. I don't know why the hell I said Dark and Stormy? I know better. Um, so he slides one over to me, and I'm like, man, because you know, I eh, the cider and I don't necessarily agree. Sometimes too much sugar. I, it's a little yeah, it's just too sweet. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, eh, why not? You know, so I knocked that thing down pretty strong. And then you know, he had to pour another one, and I was like, no. I yeah, was like, I I did yell her half yeah. of that one. Yeah, you took that one to the face. Yeah. Yeah. And then when the scotchy scotch was broke out, I was like, nah, I'm gonna skip the scotch. This I time. really because I was like because we were it having smelled cigars. Fantastic, but yeah, and I was like, oh, I love cigars and scotch, but. Yeah. I'll go with cigars and beer. <laughs> yeah, I just decided to stick with beer all night, and I think I made the right choice because although I was, you know, uh, pretty wobbly by the time I got home, but I was, <laughs> I was good. You know, did did the you know aspirin and water before bed. You know, woke up fairly fresh as a daisy today. So right, yeah, you know, all in all, pretty good. I mean, other than I'm a little hazy, but I don't think that has anything to do with anything other than just. Not enough sleep in a Yeah, that's days. that's my thing because I, you know, I, I woke up like I don't know six something, and you know, once I'm up, I just can't yeah. really. It's very rare I fall back to sleep. Yeah. So we end up wobbling out of house. I don't know about nine o'clock, and went and got breakfast like we usually do. Right. See, when that's, the kids are, when the kids are at grandma's, you know. That's the mistake I made. Is I should have done something like that. I should have got up and made some like eggs and bacon or something, and just yeah. you know, smashed some breakfast foods. And I I didn't. So I I I, 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 I was a rare day for me at uh, at, at breakfast time because normally I'm an eggs, bacon, potatoes. Yeah. 
pretty traditional today was, stuff. Yeah. Today was uh, granola pancakes because oh. they sounded good. You didn't go get pierogies, huh? <laughs> no, I thought about it. I almost got, got a side of those, too. Oh, I actually just I, had that for dinner, pierogies and nice. sausage. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah so I, I did pancakes with a side of kielbasa. <laughs> Well, of course, as everyone who's listened to the show knows, you have to have meat for breakfast, so, you know. Hell yeah. yeah. Get that protein. <laughs> yes, that's it. You also, it's a dick-shaped meat, so <laughs> you do but saddle yeah. up. So, so, I mean, that kind of, I mean, the coffee and that and the glass of water, that kind of set me straight, and I felt pretty good the rest of the day. But yeah. until, I mean, we had, you know, Easter part two earlier. And I, it was, I don't know, I think we just got done eating, and I just hit the wall. <laughs> and I've just yeah. been like dragging. I mean, I I had I'm like, hey, hon, you need to drive home. You know, well, we had to went to her parents pick up a door we were having her dad refinish for us. Right. And I just <laughs> crashed and slept the whole way. Like I woke up because going into her driveway, you know, you almost need to like hit a ramp to get yeah. up the <laughs> right. the bump. So it was a little violent <laughs> head shake that woke me up coming into the driveway. Yeah. Like at the time I was out, she went to Starbucks. She got me a cool lime thing. Nice. So I woke up. I had a fresh whoa, drink whoa. waiting you for mean me. A refreshing lime yeah, drink. Yeah. A refreshing lime thing. Oh, that's what I. Damn it! How did I not do that today? I still have a, some of the packets of that left. I could have made myself a refreshing lime drink. You could have. I still could actually. Yeah, for sure. I probably won't though. But yeah. But yeah, yeah, it was a good, uh, it was a good weekend. It was, it was, yeah. it certainly was. There was, you know, a, for us especially, a good amount of drinking done this weekend. And whew, boy, <laughs> boy, was there. Boy, you know, it's funny. I don't think anything makes me really feel my age more than when we drink like this, because then it's like, God, it takes like two, three days to recover, you know. And yeah, well, because we had to Thursday. Yeah. Right, and I, I woke up feeling like garbage that day, and then I was like, I'm going to take the night off. And Jean, you know, we had a couple of the big bomber 22 ounce bottles in our fridge. She's like, I want to try this. I was like, what, are you going to drink the whole thing? No. <sighs> so we split that. So I, yeah, I didn't really want to drink Friday, but I did. And then, yeah. well, Saturday was Saturday. Right. And then today was because I'm at, up at, you know, my stepdad's place. He saw me drinking Arnold Palmer. He's basically like, what are you doing? Yeah. So then I, I, I put down like, I don't know. Three or four Heinekens today. <laughs> right. It's like, it's like Jesus, See, I can't wait to get the Monday so I can you know, get back to normal. You know how we're always, like, like you know, we generally will, like, shit on the beers, like the, you know, Bud Lights and what have you. And it's like, you know, I'm always like, there's a place for those beers. <laughs> Days like today is where the place for those beers is, aside from college. Because right. if you could drink those, they're so light that it's like, well, it's not killing you when you're drinking them. Not that Heineken is either, but, you know, it's not like no, drinking a no. porter or something, but... Well, because my mom was like, "Oh, I bought one," well, and she I, she was just wrong, because she's like, "Hey, I bought you some uh, some of that Michigan IPA you like, which could be any." That's true. There are a lot Cause of because that's as my well. new yeah, it's my new thing now too. So I was like, "Oh, sweet!" And I opened up the the cooler and I look, and it was just a line at Great Lakes Brewing Edmund Fitzgerald, which is a really like dark, heavy porter, right? And it's just not what I wanted. Yeah, right. I imagine. Yeah. So I was like, uh, yeah, I guess you, I'll be doing Heineken. This is one of those days where you want like a light crisp beer. Yeah, I want exactly. I don't I want mean like light a, and crisp. Yeah, I don't mean like a summer shandy or something. But you want no. something that's you know, like an IPA would have been perfect. Yeah, but you don't want a heavy beer today for sure. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I do not. I don't know. <laughs> Heineken, it is not coming off of last night. Yeah. No, 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 no. Understand, understand. Yeah. Uh, Oof. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> We're full on assault this weekend. <laughs> yeah. So I, I hope Neil's not too broken up, you know, listening to the second half of this podcast because, you know, you've been cheating on him. I mean, right. Yeah, sorry, Neil. I mean, Big Dev's, you know, he's irresistible, you know. He is. Like, he's big and cuddly. You see his business card and you just can't resist it. It's the great. That's his contact photo on my phone now. It's the yeah. greatest thing ever. Not, not to mention, I mean, he did invite us for you know stacking meat with them. So that's true. <laughs> well, you see, you see the tweet he sent earlier about the summer beer fest, which yeah. we were already aware of. Right, right. <laughs> I didn't know the date of it, but I knew it was coming yeah. up. Yeah. So if, if they're planning on doing that, that'd be awesome because I know, uh, you know, it'd be you know. The risk and uh, the gist. <laughs> the risk and the gist, yeah. The, and Which it'll be like you know, Genie and I, and hopefully you. Terrible Wu Tang Clan, yeah. And the gist was telling me he's got at the store he works at. They have police presence there, but two of the cops that work there are like really in the craft beer and want to go with us. So we'll have a couple cops with us. Oh. <laughs> That's a bad <laughs> in idea. Theory, what are you doing? 
It's going to be like drinking with Joe from Family Guy. (laughs) (laughs) That's what I was telling him. I'm like, I hope they come because I'm sure we can get some cool stories. Yeah, right. I just want to talk to the guys. uh, Yeah, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, we'll both be assholes and forget any sort of recording device, though. (laughs) Oh, that's true. And memories. Yeah, and memories. True. Uh, so I've just been trying to like house water all yeah, afternoon. Well, yeah, I'm sure you've seen it every once in a while. I'm still doing it too. Yeah, I, uh, I, after whatever, like my, like I said, third, I don't remember how many hikes I had. After my third and fourth, I'm like, I gotta, I gotta get water. Like, what, this is ridiculous. What am I doing? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I felt like a zombie shuffling through the house, you know? Yeah. That's where I was last night, you know, cause I, like where I stopped and I'm like, I could keep drinking and then, there was talk of people going home, and I'm like, oh, thank God, because I always like it when other people give me my excuse to stop, because it's just, yeah. you know, it was like Thursday when we were at the Cloister, you know, and I was like, yeah, I really want another one, and you were like, ah, this is it for me, and I could, you yeah, know, I had was kind of like, yeah, I'm done. I'm I probably like, could have had another one, but yeah. it would have been a horrible oh, idea. Oh, <laughs> dude, it would have been for me, too. I just yeah. could have drank another one, but oof. What like, well, you know, last night with us, it was, you know, Jeannie had a little scotchy scotch, and I think it right hooked her. Yeah, she was kind of right she, hooked before the scotchy scotch, yeah. and then the scotchy scotch finished her off. Yeah, so she went kind of late on the couch, and I went out there to mm-hmm. see how she was doing, and I was like, "Yeah, she's done." Yeah, and I wasn't like drunk, so I could, you know, I could get us home. Yeah, well, that's it's like, weird. yeah, that's when we're like, "All right, we gotta, we gotta get out of here." Right, and you guys needed T to move his car, <laughs> so he was like, "Well, why don't we just get to?" And I'm like, "Perfect," because that means I yeah. won't have another one, because otherwise. Because I, I know third, old third shift Holly, she was like, let's play rock band. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, I'm so tired. <laughs> well, someone else mentioned rock band. I forgot who it was. Someone else said something about rock band, and then she was basically trying to get Jeremy to set it up. And yeah. Jeremy was like, does anybody really want to play this? Because if not, I'm really not. I don't want to go through the effort, you know. Yeah, put everything going. We're yeah. like, all right, see you guys. <laughs> He's done that before where he puts it together, like, toward the end of the night, and then, like, one someone will do, like, a song. And he's yeah. like, really? You know, and I was like... Yeah, I kind of feel bad for you, dude. I was like, yeah, next time, just, I mean, just get a guitar. They got the whole like, set up, so it's, yeah. it's a lot of shit to drag out and yep. put batteries in. And, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta, yeah, it's just a pain in the ass. So, But all in all, good times were had by all. Yeah, it was a, it was a great evening. I was, uh, you know, was always had, good to yeah, hang yeah. out with friends and new friends. and yep. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, potentially, potentially plan a liver destruction guys weekend <laughs> yeah i think that should probably happen that you kept trying to say that you want a guys weekend this weekend <laughs> which was funny three different yeah. times you asked somebody if they wanted to do a guys weekend this weekend and i was i wasn't bringing this properly. year yeah you meant this year but yeah it was just funnier to you know, since it's a Saturday night and you're like this weekend, <laughs> it's like, well, <laughs> yeah, I, my brain was not functioning on all oh, cylinders. Not at all. None of ours were as evidenced by when we went to play catchphrase and no one could come up with freaking clues most of the time. Yeah. We were trying to do dirty Andrew Dice clay catchphrase. Also and that. Yeah. It was, uh, it, normally we roll on that, oh, but that was everyone's kind of like, uh, Oh, I got enough. <laughs> we were all too drunk at that point. I think it was, yeah. no one was braining properly. Yeah. It was, uh, as as the kids call it, a shit show. <laughs> yeah, it certainly was, but a good shit show. Yeah, because nobody for sure. got sick that I know of. There was no, you know, no violence or shenanigans that anyone will be embarrassed about. I can, I don't think, and so. Yeah, all in all, I think it all went smooth. Good, clean, fun, as we call. Except it. for maybe T's third degree burns from eating mini keys well, straight that, from the oven. That was his own fault. He was warned. Keith was like, "Dude, those are super hot," and he just right into his face. <laughs> he kind of he kind of looked like a dragon breathing smoke that from was the pretty, steam. That was pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Although the whole time I'm like, dude, drink your beer. And he just wouldn't drink his beer. Like as soon as I put something that's like scalding my mouth in my mouth, either I spit out whatever it is, or if I have a drink handy, I'll just pour all the drink in my face. It's because he's a warrior. Uh, That's one word for it, I guess. <laughs> so, yeah. I guess. I don't know. So, yeah, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. I think that about wraps it up, though, doesn't it? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, we didn't really. I don't. I can't remember if we said it uh, before we broke or not. Do it. I haven't really watched anything that we don't we talk about. I don't think you have probably. Oh, yet. I can do this real fast. I watched first okay. three episodes of Daredevil, and I, if you haven't already read all the good reviews about it, I add mine to that mix. So I I watched a half of episode one this morning while we were waiting for mac and cheese to cook, and it was. The half I saw was pretty good until my Xbox decided to stroke out on me for some reason. <laughs> nice. Just froze. Ah, even better. Yeah. Noise. But yeah, it looks awesome. Yeah. Looking forward to watching the rest of it. So two thumbs up on that. 
Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So, but that that's it. You're right. And I hopefully that's a sign of good things to come because I imagine if all the good reviews is getting, hopefully more Marvel shows will be made in the series. Yeah, I and mean, they've already got what three other shows I believe planned. You know, so it's. Yeah, I don't remember what podcast was talking about it, but someone was talking about the potential for a hard R Punisher series. Dev was talking about it with us yesterday. Yeah, I know Dev. I know yeah. I heard it on a podcast too. Oh, okay. I just can't remember yeah. which one. We talked about it at one point. I know Oz has uh, posted about it on Facebook also. Well, I, I definitely see it there. <laughs> yeah, I know. Face what? <laughs> yeah, but oh man, that'd be so, especially with this one being as adult oriented and stuff. Not adult oriented, but it's it's geared it's for gritty. It's not for kids. I mean, it's it's no. certainly not, and that's something they're probably going to take some heat for. But yeah, oh well, I'm fine with it the way it is. Uh, and I, I really like how they. They have the continuity in it. Yeah. So it's like all the con- reconstruction after the Avengers movie yep. of destroyed New York. Yeah, because all the TV shows are going to be in that same universe, like everything yeah. else Marvel's doing. It's, it's very all, cool. Yeah. All Good job, Marvel, under continuity. Yep. Whereas, yeah. like, they could do a Punisher, and it wouldn't have to be if they didn't want it to be. It could be just Punisher stories or whatever. Yeah. They should do that, because I think the Punisher would work really well this way. It's, Punisher would be perfect for a series. Yeah. Because it could be him going in to just wipe out that certain target or that certain thing and have a whole story arc wrapped around it. Yeah, and if or they multi wanted, or multi show arc even, you right? Know? And they could cross it over with other programs if they'd like to as well, like Daredevil yeah, for sure. and stuff. It'd be super easy to do. Yeah. So yeah, I, I'd love to, and I think a lot of people would just you know soil their panties if uh, if they announced a Punisher series. So one can only hope. I'd much I, I rather I see would. him do that than uh, another movie. I'd rather see them yeah. go series. You know? Yeah, same here. Yeah. Plus, they could do one one series. If they do one season and it doesn't turn out real well, you're done with it. No more. You know, you just yeah. tell your story and you're finished, you know? Yeah, tell your story. Well, it kind of reminds me, though. I remember we talked about, I don't know, it's been a while, how I wanted to see a, a series of, like, Elseworlds yeah. tales. Yeah. yeah. I just, you know, it, it opens the door for stuff like that. Yep. It certainly Because people are willing to consume the comic book stuff, you right. know? And then Spider Ham finally can get made. Yeah, Peter Porker the Spider Ham. <laughs> I could only hope. <laughs> it, it'll be you know they'll do like that half that half Howard the Duck show you know that way it's just completely inane and <laughs> both delicious animals. <laughs> also that. Yeah. That's that's the game plan if the shows don't go very well. <laughs> yeah, exactly. They just become dinner. Yeah. It's yeah. Hot and spicy pork with Peking duck. <laughs> right. <laughs> Marvel fi- Marvel fills the table with delicious treats. Mmm. <laughs> so. right, nom, so. nom. Settle down, settle down. <laughs> all right, man. That's all I, I, I guess that's all I got. You got anything Yeah, it's, I mean, that's all I got. I just, you know, wait for my body to recover. Yeah, good luck with that. Yeah, so no. Maybe by next Friday. Well. <laughs> so I can throw it into the grinder again, probably. <laughs> probably. Yeah. <laughs> That's the point of life, right? Apparently. Like, ah, I'm starting to feel better. What's that, drinking all weekend? Okay. Yeah, I'm sure there'll be something afoot. (laughs) Always. Always. Yeah. All right. um, I guess, you know, as always, go to saltylanguage.com. We'll have all the links from the the, uh, stuff we've talked about on this half of the show, the other half of the show. Um, I don't really think we even had any links from the previous half. Not really. No, you're right. Um, yeah, well, uh, I got a couple. I'm going to send you right now that I pulled up. We'll have some pictures and videos. Hopefully, like Tony said, from the feed from our local newspaper, so uh, you can have a look see at some of the photos that were going on or some of the stuff going on at the show. And right. Um. Yeah. Uh, other than that, I guess uh, you know, check out the pod, uh, podcast networks that we're part of: Musings of a Geek. Um, Tangent Bound, uh, Pod Gods, uh, we're on the Geek Life Radio list, and we're also, you know, <laughs> as we keep telling you, we're newly added to the Danger Entertainment. Oh, damn it. Group. Danger! Yeah. That's it. Watch your back! <laughs> that was the only sound drop we really needed, but sorry. Yeah. It's all right. We're good. Um, yeah, I Here, guess. Might as, well put, might as well put Palicki's thing up, too. Oh, I'll okay, send you sure. a link to that. Sure. Um. If you want to get a hold of us, you know, as always, the best way is generally on the Twitter machine at salty underscore language. I'm at Stunami. I am at Monotony. And um, if you want to email us, you can send something into saltylanguage at gmail.com or contact us through the website. Either way, it goes to us. Right. 
And if you want to call in and leave us a voicemail for our two hundred upcoming 200th episode, or just in general, do you have that number handy, Tony? I'll pull it up right now. Right, That's uh, 415-857-2589, kids. The groove lines. Yep. The groove lines are always open. Right. Um, <coughs> so I guess with that, uh, have beer, you'll be fine. No, no, have water today. Oh yeah, yeah, you're right. We're certainly not. <laughs> I already had lots of beer. <laughs> and we were. But fine. you're right. Yeah. No, nope, you're right. Have a beer, you'll be fine. Yeah. You're right, Brian. Yeah. And I guess stay salty as well. Yeah, and uh, hopefully no one's doing this, but go piss rocks. <laughs> <laughs> I might be later. I don't yeah, know. I might be too. Oof. <laughs> This is a Danger Entertainment Podcast. DangerEntertainment.net Danger Entertainment Podcast Network.